Well, you're still with Morning Live and some good news now, a real feel-good story. A prominent South African sculptor and poet, uh, Professor Pitika Ntuli, has been awarded a Global Fine Art People's Choice Award. Now, Professor Ntuli's uh, Azibuyele Emma Sisweni, uh, or Return to the Source, is an online exhibition of bone sculptures and it won the U2 Award, which is one of two People's Choice Awards at the 7th Annual Global Global Fine Arts Awards. Now, there were 116 nominees, which included exhibitions from some of the most established art galleries and museums across the world. So, uh, let's speak to uh, Professor Ntuli about this award. Professor, good morning. Good to see you. Welcome to Morning Live and congratulations. Thank you very much, and also to the uh, listeners. But before anything else, I would like to thank uh, uh, Ruzi Rusike, the uh, curator from uh, Melrose Gallery, the gallery, the 33 people who collaborated with me, you know, Jonathan and Busiso, my technical assistants, are part and parcel of the success of what we have achieved. So if, 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 if we look at this work of art, and, and, and I mean, it's obviously fabulous to be recognized uh, by not only your peers, by the public at large. Um, how does that feel? Because given how many nominees there were, uh, to just walk off with one of those awards must be a great feeling. It's quite a very, very, very great uh, inner feeling because uh, it's a result of uh, not just a group of uh, people deciding. It has been uh, people globally voting. In other words, people globally voting are saying, we want art such as this one that has been done uh, to be actually, uh, you know, the norm. And also, I would also like to congratulate uh, the other uh, 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 one of the two. Uh, you know, people that also uh, won, because the people are suggesting that what we are doing, the art that comes up with feelings, with soul, with spirit, uh, with a deep, you know, kind of a belief systems rather than art for art's sake, is uh, should actually be, you know, the norm. Indeed, and, and, and if we look at um, the artwork, a 45 uh, a bone sculpture exhibition, talk to us about that, and and you know, how was that conceived and conceptualized? You know, what happened is that uh, I began working up on, uh, 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 you know, bones, focusing actually on the bones. It started when something happened uh, in Gaza, when the Zionists attacked, uh, you know, Gaza, killing children, uh, bombing schools uh, uh, and all. I did an installation that is currently at uh, the Constitutional Hill that says, lest we uh, uh, you know, forget. Uh, but from there, again, from a very spiritual uh, you know, side, also as a Sangoma, uh, it is very, very important that uh, you have to create bones in order to define the state of the nation, the state of the world, the state of uh, you know, the environment. That's precisely what uh, I set up uh, you know, to do. And also to say that let us return to the source, as we are the do art not simply as individuals, but because in Africa we collaborate in everything that we are, we are doing. Ubuntu tells us, I am because you are. That's what resulted then in choosing 33 of some of our best <coughs> you know, thinkers, poets, artists uh, from West Africa, East Africa, America and, and, and ours. That is why I tweeted yesterday that I dedicate this uh, victory uh, to Zbongile in Okumalo, mm. who had also contributed very significantly to this uh, exhibition. So, in that sense, uh, in talking about returning to the source, um, looking at the world at the moment uh, dealing with this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, what is the message, especially from a spiritual point of view, uh, do you think that you would like to convey at this point, Professor Ntuli? Uh, is that what we like to convey is that uh, we live in an environment, that environment is life-sustaining and we are busy uh, killing that which actually sustains uh, 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 you know, us. 
And the discussion, then, I would encourage people to, uh, to go to the link and listen uh, to the Honorable Naledi Pando, who opened the exhibition uh, uh, you know, for us when we were spelling out her, her views of what is uh, uh, you know, happening. So in other words, is that uh, is part of the pieces is that the return of the Minkisi. The Minkisi were artworks that were created uh, you know, in the Congo. They were not just artworks. Those artworks were filled with medicinal plants, with medicinal, practically everything. They were almost like human beings. They were taken away from us because they felt that we were worshipping them and that they were very dangerous uh, in, uh, to us. For me, the return of the Minkis is a return of our own art as, uh, 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 as uh, you know, medicine to focus us uh, on our thinking. Umtombo, aunyelwa. You don't pollute the river. You don't do this. All our proverbs, you know, tell us, uh, you know, that. So in making up, you know, this art with all the symbols that are all in those bones, we are talking about an African way of life, an African culture, an African belief system that is reflected visually in the works of art, as it has always been throughout the world. You go over to uh, uh, Florence, you go over to the Greeks, Art played a very significant uh, role in organizing people to come together in nation building, in addressing the crisis that may be uh, 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 affecting people medicinally, diseases, uh, natural disasters. You know, art has always been part and parcel of that which uh, sustains us and gives us hope. Mm. Um, uh, some would say, well, uh, for most of us, art is very abstract if we're looking at who we are and what we're dealing with. How would you then help us to connect uh, for those who may feel that way, um, the, the, the healing uh, properties that you speak to, uh, you know, the, the, the spiritualism that uh, we are talking about? Because as a simple example, uh, Professor, you go to our cemeteries today. If it's not a private cemetery or Hero's Acre somewhere, our cemeteries are in the most despicable state of decay and disrepair. Surely that is connected to who we are as people. So what does that say about us? And how do we use what you are saying to us through this exhibition to actually make those connections and to start healing and start getting in touch with those knowledge systems that teach us about who we are? I think the best answer I could offer you, uh, I mean, on that one, is to see what is happening to the arts in our own country right now. The Apartheid Museum is closing. Pansim Museum, that carries some of the most beautiful Irozulu artworks from beadworks. Funda Center, that it was the only place in Soweto that was sustaining the people. Wherever you turn around, everything is there as if uh, the, the, the cabinet set up one day and said, let us destroy everything that speaks to our own uh, heritage. Credo Mutas works that uh, uh, are left rotting, that were supposed to, uh, to be fixed in uh, uh, the too, and in, in other places, are just staying around in there. Mm. We appear to be as people without any you know, kind of uh, uh, you know, heritage. But the response of my people to this actually award uh, the whole of last night and today you know people are kind of congratulating it almost makes you almost kind of feel weepy that these people are aware of what is actually happening to us happening to our culture happening to our spirit happening to our our, our, our belief systems if everybody were to be interested uh, in art in one way or another, visiting it, practicing it, you know, trying it with it, then we would actually not be talking mostly in South Africa about corruption, state capture, you know, everything, because our minds had been captured. And art seeks to free these minds, you know, from us. And also, besides, we shouldn't forget that we are where we are, not because Apla or Mkonte or Siswe or Azanla uh, liberated us. They contributed. But it was the artists that helped to liberate this country, international artists, through anti apartheid movement, the music of the Tracy and uh, Chapman, the artworks of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, you, you know, one or Kumbe, Eugene Skiff, uh, the paintings, and everything that uh, we have been putting up uh, onto the world helped 
to isolate uh, you know South Africa you know from it. Uh, but as a result, now we are the people who used us to liberate ourselves, and now we are the people who, more than anybody else in Africa, seem to be suppressing uh, uh, you know art. Ghana is coming up with its own national museum. Senegal is already built up as a national museum. We are closing uh, uh, out. We are not part of uh, Africa uh, to a large extent. We have just become the 54th state of the United States of America uh, when one looks at uh, how we are governed and what's happening around us and what are the attitudes towards that which is very meaningful and spiritual in our land. Oh, that, that, that's quite deep, Prof. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, when we look at this um, exhibition and, and, and you talk about returning to the source and you also mentioned the scourge of corruption, of uh, poverty, of um, greed and all these uh, issues that we are dealing with, grappling with on a daily basis on the African continent and specifically here at home in South Africa. When you look at... Um, the return to the source, the return to African um, spiritualism uh, and knowledge systems, how can that help in addressing the scourge of corruption and other systemic issues that are bedeviling our society? Well, could you just sum up uh, uh, the question just briefly? I missed something. I was saying um, in terms of returning to the source of African spiritual, uh, spirituality, how can that assist us in dealing with some of the um, issues, uh, the scourges of our society, such as oh. corruption? Oh, yes. You know, because once we return we, you know, to ourselves, who are we, right? We are, the, we are what I could call, uh, uh, you know, quantum people. We uh, have inherited the Newtonian physics of divide and rule, binary oppositions. That's how the world has been uh, you know, operating. And now we're in a quantum society of interconnectedness, interrelationship, and interdependency, which is what the principle of Ubuntu, an African uh, you know, spiritual uh, uh, thing it is, that I am linked uh, to a hyena. I am some PC. In Mamba. At the head of a member, someone else is another animal. There's a particular plant that is related uh, uh, to me, where my umbilical cord has been. Relationship with nature is a very, very natural thing. Uh, so there is no greed, you know, in nature. Animals never kill more than what they need, and yet greed says that. Let me collect as much money that I can, that I am going to be terrible when I'm about to die and become very miserable. So the issues of spirit, that's why in the first place religion that came to be in order to regulate uh, uh, you know, people to love one another, to share whatever they have to share and to live uh, in, with one another. So the return therefore to the source is that uh, let us return to basically who philosophically, culturally, religiously, and in any other way, uh, uh, you know, be, live with harmony, uh, with nature, with the environment that sustains us. Professor, as we close this um, message from Professor Diniko Maluleke, he says, congratulations to Prof. Ntuli. No one deserves the global prize in fine art more. Halala, Sompisi. And we echo that sentiment. Thank you to dear uh, Dr. Dean. He, he knows he has contributed a lot by visiting and disagreeing with me you know, all the time in order to urge me to move forward. Well, Professor, thank you so much. And uh, as you lap up the accolades and the congratulations, uh, we will be right there alongside you because we are so desperate for good news at the moment. Congratulations once more. And thanks for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you. And that, of course, uh, Professor Pitika Antuli, um, prominent South African a sculptor and uh, poet, and he's been awarded the Global Fine Art People's Choice Award. Isn't that How fabulous is that? Unbelievable. We really, like you said at the end of the interview, we desperately need some good news, and I think uh, this is this is one that can boost us a little bit. All right, so. Uh